This is a K20A motor that I wanted to attach a GM automatic transmission to. So I had to make some builds. This is a coupler for this inner circle here. It simply fits in place. And then I used the standard manual flywheel bolts that are 20 millimeter long. No longer, no shorter. There's eight of them. Be careful on these couplers because they can be cocked. So you shouldn't use an impact on it on the first pass until you get everything nice and easy. them. that in a very even manner to try and get that in there correctly. This is the second part of the coupler and the problem was is that I had to get a place for the nose of the torque converter and yet I had to uh, bolt into the first coupler and have a place for the flex plate. So what I did on this is I put this little bit of lip on that seal or on the ring and then I made that within about a thousand so it's in there just a little bit tight but not too tight it fits real well and then do this so that you could build this whole setup in four steps so I built this adapter plate with the engine on one side the transmission on the other side right up in there flush and then I provide these bolts and I'm concerned with these top bolts because they are countersunk I don't want you to put any lock washers on there because a lock washer might put that head out far enough that it would bump into the transmission case. Set. The key to this whole thing was the starter. And what I did was I took an 87 Honda Civic starter motor for no other reason than they're cheap. And these are reduction gear. And then I put this bearing out here exposed, but I, I cased it into the adapter plate. So when you put this in here, it goes straight in. Set. The key to this whole thing was the starter. And what I did was I took an 87 Honda Civic starter motor for no other reason than they're cheap. And these are reduction gear. And then I put this bearing out here exposed, but I, I cased it into the adapter plate. I had to build a flex plate. The flex plate goes on only one way. The recessed side goes towards the motor. This side goes towards the torque converter. Now what this does is it creates a small block Chevy on the back of this Honda. So anything that you can buy for a small block Chevrolet is going to fit right on here. That real well. <laughs> Do it again, Daddy. <laughs> Move the camera now, I'll show you. Now we got it cooking. And that is a small block Chevrolet. You can put a power glide on it, a TH350 or a TH400. Just promise me not to get hurt. Thank you.